Hey everyone, Goldnessa here. For those of you who want to know how I do my everyday makeup look, which is like the look I take to school almost every day when I'm like kind of rushed and like in a hurry. So, and this is also the makeup look I usually like take pictures with on Instagram. So if you want to know how I do them or do how I do my makeup for those pictures, please um keep on watching. And for those of you who want to add me on Instagram, I'll add my Instagram name down below in the description box. So please keep on watching and I hope you guys enjoy the video. First thing we're going to do is we're going to use the Urban Decay B6 spray. And we're just going to like spray it all, all over our faces as you can see. And just like... As you can see, I sprayed the shit out of my face. <laughs> and then after that, we're gonna use, we're gonna use this uh, MAC Prep and Prep and Prime as my primer. So make sure you have your um, hands washed before you do this step. So we're just gonna, I like just like, um, squeeze it three times, uh, push it down three times, and then I'm just gonna, I just wipe it on my face <laughs> and then we're just gonna do this just like if you're like applying lotion on your face we got our damp beauty blender you know how squishy it gets um so now we're gonna apply our foundation oh, I use the uh, NYX foundation it's that, that color So yeah, this NYX Stay Matte Foundation. Matte but not flat. Okay, so um, we're just gonna have like three dots on our faces. One, two, three. Let's add four just because I'm extra. <laughs> there we go. Then we're gonna close that up. So make sure when you are applying your foundation or like blending it in, to get your chin, neck, around your eyes, back to the neck. And then make sure you get your nose. Also get um put some foundation on your um eyelids, around the nose, and then on your forehead. So to get rid of the excess foundation that I have on my face, I'm gonna use this um sponge. Just like it on my face to get rid of that like little shininess that I have and then just like brush my eyebrows because as you um, notice that I like I accidentally put foundation on my eyebrows so I go in with the spoolie and just like get rid of that that accident that happened to get rid of that foundation so for my eyebrows I'm using the dip brow pomade from Anastasia in dark brown and all I do is just fill them in, tracing my brows. <laughs> Look at that. That's how I got you guys. And as you can see. Like what I use is this Cap Von D foundation in the color. Okay, that's the color I use. The lock in foundation. And then I just um, grab this. The tip is so messy. Grab it and then I just put it on my spatula. Just like a little dot. Okay. And then I just grab some of that. Like a little bit. Over here. Just ignore him. Just continue to do your makeup. Just do you. Ignore the world. Oh God, is there a key for your door? No. <laughs> it's okay, he's locked up. He was mean to my giraffe, so he can't come in here. My giraffe is okay, by the way. No serious harm was done. It's okay. And then just like drag the line down that you see. So I do it. I just drag the line down. 
No, Pierre, do the same thing. So after we're done with that, we're gonna go in with um, this NYX, stay matte but not flat, in the color uh, medium beige. But what I do is just grab powder and just uh, to cover the shininess of the foundation. We're gonna go in with this little angled brush, angled mm -hmm. fluffy brush. And then we're gonna go in with this um, City Color Contour Effects. It's a powder. So I use that powder. And just like grab some of that. As you can see, that's my favorite. <laughs> I don't use that dark one or that white one. I use this brown one. I'm gonna just like dab it on the like where my ears are like the little this part just like that right here not like no okay just like that everyone has different faces so just because I'm doing this um doesn't mean that um everyone doesn't mean that um everyone's face is like mine so just because I'm like contouring my um this part of my cheeks doesn't mean you have to do it too cause Everyone has different faces, so. Do I contour with liquids? Uh, yes, I contour with liquids, but only when, like, um, I have, like, some... Not in my everyday look. This, uh, not in my everyday look. I just use powder for my everyday look. I'll show you how to contour, how I contour with liquids in other videos but um this one is just gonna stay powdery so it's like the same thing as the the other powder that i used i just dabbed twice in this case i have nothing in the middle so i just like go around just like dab cheeks and then just go i just like lightly like touch this your jawline jawline yeah thank you I go in with this um, primer for my eyelids, the Urban Decay primer. Oh shit! Can you see that? Urban like Decay eyeshadow. Color. Yeah, um, that color. Oh, the color of the thingy. Mm -hmm. Okay, I was about to say it has no color. <laughs> okay, so then just like just. It does have color. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> okay, so um, make him look stupid. It's okay. <laughs> just like, and then after that, when you're done um, using the little thingy, just like. Dab it all over your eyelids. Don't get too close to your eyebrows. And for my everyday look, I use this Naked palette. And I go in with the color Naked. It's like a, a light brown. Real quick. So we're just gonna go from here and then just zigzag up. Zigzag up. Zigzag up. I don't like just zigzag up. Do you see that? Zigzag up, zigzag up, stuff like that. Just uh, same. We're gonna use a naked palette again. Um, we're gonna use the color Buck. That color right there. It's like a darker brown, a darker naked. And to start, just zigzag it up. Uh, to the other eye. One, two, three. Oh shit, sorry. One, two, three. I dabbed it already, so I'm not gonna dab it again. And then just like, wanna just like, just drag it all over your bottom lash line. And then I'm just gonna do one. And just like, since Buck is like really pigmented, then we're gonna go. I'm gonna do that. So grab the outer corner of your eye. And then after that, now that I'm done with my eyeshadow and my contour, I go in with this fluffy brush. And then I use the glow kit from Anastasia. And um, I go in with Starburst. This one right here. Just like kind of like just um use a little tip just like like that mm. 
No, <laughs> please do not see that. <laughs> sorry, I'm so sorry. I just like glide it. Glide it in the middle and then just like drag it downwards, drag it upwards. That's what I do. So you won't have that like a line or anything. We're gonna use the same brush and use um this this brush right here. By Yadio, I guess. I don't know if to say it in Spanish or English. The matte blush in the color peach ice. And we're just gonna go like this. Zigzag all the way down. Just like zigzag through the whole thingy. Just like zigzag on your cheek. Starting from the middle and zigzagging up, zigzagging down. Does it help to smile? Yeah, it helps. Um, I use a Mary Kay gel eyebrow. I've been having this for the longest. I found that this gel actually really does work. Because it actually stays and helps my eyebrows just stay in place. Before I add my eyelash, I actually curl my eyelashes. As you can see, this is really dirty. I'm so sorry. Yikes. So, and then I use this lash glow. The Lash Grip Eyelash Adhensive. <laughs> Then because of because these eyelashes are actually very very um, thick, well they're really glued onto here too. Um, because these eyelashes are very very thick, I use this. I use this little tweezer. It has like a little banana shape at the end. Then I grab my glue. And just like glide it all over my eyelash. Okay, so uh, then I'm just gonna apply my eyelashes. And then, because I did not get the tip going with the tweezers. Sometimes even my fingers. The first time uh, I tried to put on eyelashes, it was really hard. I actually wanted, um, I told my mom to do it for me because she used to put on eyelashes. And now I put them on by myself. It took, it took practice because I would go to school one day and then my eyelashes would probably like be falling off. It was so bad. That's embarrassing. Um. Yeah, it happens. Like your eyelashes do fall off. Um, do my eyelashes fall off now that I've had practice? No, not really. It takes practice, you guys. But mascara on our eyelashes. So, if since my eyelashes are really long, my fake ones, I'm just grabbing them by the top. I'm pushing them kind of down whenever I like comb mascara, my eyelashes with my mascara because um, I want them to actually like go in and blend with each other. Whoa. Going with my Aqua Rouge from Makeup Forever. I go over that on top. And then that's it. That's my everyday makeup look. Hope you guys really like this video. Please subscribe and like, comment any questions that you have about makeup and I'll be sure to answer them. <laughs> okay, but for, for now, bye you guys.